I am Tikka. Hi, Tikka. Hi there. Welcome. Uh, one moment. Thank you. Tikka is a tall Liran working on the orbit. Muhashwahat. Mie. Tio. Kusha. Greetings. Greetings, how are you? I am fine. I have come to tell you that Grukvikneer has a new member. Welcome. In the Galactic Society. Excellent. It is almost time to present them to you. It has been a while in writing the initial agreements and acceptances. But we will now have a fifth species joining Grukfiknir. That is our alliance with the Lyrans, Octorians, Pleiadians, and Yigil. There will now be another species very shortly. They are soon to enter. We are excited because they are of like mind to us and are evolved in the sense that they are peaceful and want to help the human condition as well as the galactic condition which we also work on. Is there any questions? You still cannot name the species? Let me find out if it would be appropriate. I am allowed to tell you that it is a friendly reptilian species. Thank you. The name of this species will not be revealed until such time as appropriate. Can you describe them physically, what, how they look, which dimension they are? That would be like telling me and you who they are. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you... Do you have any news from the colonies? Yes. Thank you. Thirteen telepaths in Colony 1, which is our main colony of growth. We are learning so much from the telepathic humans, mostly children, six of which are children. We now have six children and a teenager mm -hmm. and have learned that the thought processes from youth uh, to adolescence are sometimes very, very, very different. Yes. There is a time of rejection of all things that are logical. It would appear they would rather live in an abstract world where they cannot possibly be harmed. Does this yes. make sense to you? Yes, it did not true. make sense to us, but it is becoming more clear where that movement leads to adulthood. It becomes a melding of abstract and basic human need thoughts which also translate into self-worth and uh, identity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
It's a, even adults do that. I do that all the time. We wish we could understand you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> but you are too different at many different times. Yes. S your mind is much thought, but it is not molded in one direction. Oh. It is like a gaseous cloud. Yes. <laughs> high energy, high, high temperature brownian motion. Gaseous. Yes, and much <laughs> action. Don't light a match. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> well, Thank you. Uh, any news about the contacts? The contact is still pushed out to <coughs> 2015 at this time with many things that have been what is the word assured that will happen but there are many actions still to remain to be accepted by the Arcturian Council but Humans will be part of human contact because they will be intercessory for aliens and they will not be under control of aliens. They will be in their own state of understanding which will make humankind more comfortable because they know us. I spoke yesterday to Zechariah, uh, to someone from Ashtar Command. Are you familiar with Ashtar Command, right? I am not associated, but I am familiar. So their message was that, uh, this one was from Sirius, and they, their message was that they are a sign, they're kind of having their ships around the Earth to protect the Earth from humans. Uh, so they have their loyalty to the to the planet, and their soul wise, they're connected to the planet. So if the humans decide they like humans, they want to help us, but but basically they're loyalty to the planet. So if the humans decide to destroy the planet, they would rather destroy the humanity and save the planet than otherwise. That was the message. Yes. There are so many things I could say about this communication. They do care about the planet and the people on the planet, but they do not help the planet as much as they say. They are peaceful, they are loving, but they do not know how to help humanity more than small ways of keeping them out of historical destruction. Mm -hmm. They, like us, help humanity in any way that they feel is possible without interfering with history. This is difficult. We do everything we can to keep your history alive because we believe that keeping it alive in this particular dimension is most worthy. Thank you. Uh, do you, uh, Barbara, uh, do you have questions? Yes. Um, we were talking uh, when uh, the previous session about um, professions, uh, people helping others. Um, for a number of years, I ran a group for adults who have what we call ADD. Yeah. And then they kind of all left, but that was... That was very gratifying and very helpful to them, and I wonder, 
should I be starting that kind of group up again? Your efforts to help with people with, is that attention deficit? That's correct. That is a very high calling. It's difficult because they can only pay attention to you for short periods of time. <laughs> that would make sense. That your activity would help them grow as individuals and help their attention spans become longer and therefore they could relate to of jobs and careers more easily and to each other as well. Having attention deficit is most difficult to overcome. But, yes, if you would want to work with these people they there seems to be more on your planet that have come to this diagnosis due to chemical imbalances than ever before it is due to poor diet and lack of exercise which sounds not right but Exercise releases chemicals into the system that causes balance in the men mental states as well as the body. Therefore, more exercise and better diet would cause better mental states, as you know. This is something you can teach them, as well as the knowledge that you have attained through your ex experiences with them. I would say this is a very worthy cause. Thank you. Any more questions? Barbara? One moment. I will be with you one moment. I hear the voices. Where are those voices coming from? It's not all the time. There are people visiting you on a regular basis. Not only reptilian, but Pleiadian and you yell at different intervals. When they are in each other's presence, there are too many vibrational discrepancies and causes you to hear things that you may should not have hear her be hearing. Does that make sense to you? But you are interesting to many species due to your physical conditions, and also your mental channels move in a very different way than they are used to experiencing, and this is also interesting to them and us. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Um, I just had a question. Um, am I being visited at all, or? There are moments when you are visited. Yes. The reason for them visiting you is that you are transforming in some ways from one state to another state of existence. Does this make any sense to you? A little bit. Of, I mean, my vibration, I've been trying to get it out. Yes, so. more than even your vibration. There are things going on within you that you may not be aware of that 
you are transitioning to a higher state. Okay. Do I have any um, connections with um, a species or different alien uh, species? I am not a. I am not to inform you at this time. Okay. okay. Well, we have a new person in head. Uh, hello. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, the person in hat. There is a gentleman in hat. I am, I am Brian. How are you guys doing? Hey, Brian. Uh, right. Do you have questions to Takur the Liran? Takur, it's an honor to meet you, my friend. How are you? Greetings. Are you well, Brian, how are you? Good, my friend. I'm reading up on the Liran energy, the, uh, the history of the Lirans. I find it most fascinating, and I, I wanted to show my appreciation and gratitude for what you are doing in Grip Rick Near and all of you. I love you very much. Thank you. We are grateful that many have accepted us and want to help us help you. Thank you for not doing it so much for us, but allowing us to work with you in a co creation. Thank you. It has to be that way. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot forcefully help you. We cannot, we cannot take over without changing your natural history and the love that would naturally form and the emotion that would naturally be there as well as your history is colorful yes. and diverse. Yes. I, I really don't have too much of a question. I just wanted to say thank you for all that you are. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Uh, we have someone else there new. Uh, the microphone is off, but if you want to ask a question, you can turn on your microphone and ask the question. I don't see the face. No, there is the new person doesn't show up. Anybody else? The questions? All right, I will read something which I have from the... Uh, Please be quick. I must go soon. All right, Fluffy uh, asks, Ever since I was young, I would have this moving circle vision with eyes closed. I would start seeing black circles very usually moving, amplifying, dividing, diminishing in many ways. Usually they will become large in numbers and get thicker in shape. They would form patterns in constant motion. I feel like it is consuming and engulfing me like I am in a circle world of or zero dimension. In the background color, I guess, is I'm not sure. So the question is what it is. Could you tell me what it is? There are influences on you from an outer source. This, let me start at the beginning. When there are many visitors, the earth is being visited many times, but there are individuals that get visited more often than others. Almost everyone will be visited by the end of this century. But what is happening with your inner thoughts and visions is that when there are aliens close by. They have a frequency not like Earthlings. Also, their ships resonate at a different frequency than anything else that you have here on Earth. When these things combine with your actual vibration and frequency, they can cause swirling and, and dimensional shifts within humanity coupled with the thought that there is much fourth dimensional energy being released in some areas, which your area is one of them, this will also cause you to feel like you are in a, a zero dimension, as you said, with no, like you are floating or that you are not part of anything or you're detached from uh, the earth. This will, in combination with these other relative facts, 
cause you to feel this way and have these certain emotions. It is nothing to be concerned about because it will come and go, but it does not affect you unless you want it to. Now, the ways you can have it affect you would be to accept it and actually become part of a meditation at that time, which would be an ultra-high vibrational meditation. And this would help you to move out of your body and see things that you might not normally see. Thank you. Take care. Do you have time for my personal question? Either way is fine. Yes. I started last time around the noon. I started a communication with a company located in Nevada. Um, they're doing optical things and some sort of genetics and optics and uh, molecular biology and optics. And they seem to be connected to military uh, and financially and otherwise. Uh, do you have any advice on me proceeding communicating with them? They have, they have many, many connections to military for reasons of advancing, uh, targeting, and not only that, but they can see ships light years away now. Their optics have become very great. Not anyone on Earth knows as much as this particular place about seeing far out into space. Your connection, they will not accept you, I am sorry. Oh, so I shouldn't spend my much energy. All right. Uh, I was hoping to get investment or a job there. They will not accept you. I am sorry. All right. Thank you. Any any leads which I should pay attention to? The London one is London. Any any hope with London? There are still strings attached to you from London. Anything anywhere else I should dig for a job or investment? Okay. I will. One moment. You must continue your search in a natural way. I am not allowed to give you leads, but there is somewhere you have not gone yet that has great potential for you. Keep looking. Uh, should I still look in Rochester? How, how prospective is Rochester? It's within the United States. That's good enough to know. Thank you. Great help. Um, anything else? I must go. Thank you very much for your visit and and for your help. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. I must go. Blessings to you. Yuck you. Yeah.